Paul Klingberg here, and welcome to the Klingberg Wing Mark II simulator for X-Plane. Uh, I hope you have your software loaded and brought it up. It should look like this. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your files and set up the glider and get ready for that first flight. So let's get on with it. Okay, here we go. Loading up your Klingberg Wing Mark II in the X-Plane is super simple. Uh, what you have here is a zip folder that I sent you, and inside that zip folder is the KW Mark II. And actually inside of that is the Mark II release version 1.0. And to do it the easy way, you just get at this level, and you click on this folder, and you drag it over here to your X-Plane folder, and your file should look like this for X-Plane 11. And you want to just want to drop this right into the aircraft folder, just like that. And it transfers over. We'll go in, we'll take a look, make sure that it's there. And there we go. I have a previous copy there. We can delete that one. And there it is, right there. We, so we have the Laminar Research, uh, which has all of the aircraft that came with your copy of X-Plane 11. And there it is, the Mark II release one. So at this point you're ready to go and let's go back and take a look at X-Plane and see the, how to set up the glider. So now that we have our file set up, let's get ready for a new flight. Um, go into your uh, X-Plane manual and you'll want to look at uh, settings here and you'll want to search through the settings and uh, search for glider and it'll show you how to do uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, which will be very handy in flight. I'm not going to run through that here. I'll leave that as a exercise for the student. And let's get started with that new flight. So that opens a window that shows the aircraft that we have available to us. And there it is, the Klingberg Wing Mark II. The first thing we want to do is hit Customize. And you want to go in here, hit Weight and Balance. And you'll see that I have this set at my weight approximately. I'm right around 190 pounds way too heavy but uh, you can uh, go ahead and run it over gross run it over 300 pounds that'll just limit your red line uh, just put in your actual weight there and uh, it'll fly appropriately and set your center of gravity don't mess with it on your early flights leave it right here at zero but you can set it nose heavy or tail heavy uh, to fly slower or faster the only special thing you need to know is that in x plane it seems reversed plus direction is tail heavy and the minus direction is nose heavy backwards in my mind but that's how it's set up but for your initial flights just leave it set at zero okay done with that then you go over uh, we're here at Torrey Pines which is CA84 dirt strip just north of San Diego beautiful site for flying flown gliders there for decades and you can double click on this and it'll bring up the runway make sure that your pointer here is on 27 uh, runway 27, which is pointed west, of course. You generally don't want to be set up with runway 9, which is pointed east, uh, unless maybe you're doing some kind of tow plane flight and you want to head on over to Miramar or something like that. Anyway, so we're set up for 27. We confirm that. Torrey Pines, you want to set up your weather. Uh, I like to have lots of visibility. Sometimes I set the wave height a little higher to give me some uh, depth of field. And most importantly you want to add a wind layer i have that already in here right here and i have 15 knots coming out of the west and it's at sea level uh, and why the arrow points this way i don't know to me the arrow should point the other way for coming out of the west but that's the way that it is in the software here so runway's dry everything else is normal uh, get that wind set up and have a nice soaring flight done with that the next thing you wanted to go down here and edit and make sure uh, for your first flights that you have the Aerolite 103 ultralight set up as your tow plane. You could set up the uh, regular winch if you wanted. Uh, you can also go out and get X winch. We'll have a video later that shows how to use those. But we'll start off with the Aerolite. Uh, you can use the Stinson L5, but your tow will be very exciting as you'll be near red line all the time. You can do it, but <laughs> it's a little, uh, it'll increase your pulse rate a little. So, there we go. We're all set up. We're ready to fly. We go over here. We hit start flight. And I'll pick you up on the backside. Okay, here we are sitting on the runway at Torrey Pines. Nice dirt strip. Uh, we see the Aerolite uh, tow plane in front of us. And I have the game in pause right now. Um, 
I'm going to do a quick little takeoff here and then uh, recommend that you go over and click on the link for the first demo flight where you'll get a tour of the cockpit, all the controls, and uh, how to fly an entire flight from takeoff to landing. So right now, let's just go ahead and take off and then you can go over and enjoy that other video. Here we go. Watch out for all the dust that comes up. Can't see the tow plane. Keep her going straight. Uh, I'm going a little crooked. Lift her off. There we go. We're up. Tow plane's up. Let's stay behind the tow plane. And we're heading for the edge of the cliff and we're up on a wonderful flight. Here we go. Very exciting. And I thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoy all the videos that we're going to have coming of these X-Plane Simulator flights. And I hope you enjoy your copy of it. Thanks much. Bye for now. Fly safe.